Hello and welcome to the third and final vlog in this mini series on my vlog series from London Attractions. This is going to be more of a review from the London Dungeon, which is a dungeon attraction in London. It's an actor led walkthrough experience. So the experience starts by the descent. So you head through the queue and go into a waiting area for the elevator and there's a jester in there and he goes through what is going to happen inside of the dungeon and you get a lot of information but not too much and then you go into the elevator which actually takes you up but it feels like you're going down so that's a really good effect there's chains moving by the side and it takes you into the depths of the dungeon The second scene is Guy Fawkes and this is about the gunpowder plot of the Tudor period. So there's a talking head which is actually Guy Fawkes and he talks about the gunpowder plot and there's actually a really good effect in there where you see the bomb and the gunpowder actually explode and there's some smoke effects. The actual floor moves and vibrates which I wasn't expecting inside and it is a really fantastic effect and then you get led through the door into the following scene and that scene is the torturer and this scene isn't one of my favourite scenes it's very very similar to a lot of the other dungeons it's pretty much the same script there is no real difference he just talks about the torture equipment that he's going to be using and he always gets someone in the cage and someone on the chair and he demonstrates what the equipment would have done back in those times and there's a lot of jokes in there and it's always quite a fun one to do but it is always quite standard there's not that many differences inside then there is the plague doctor which again is very standard the actor will talk about how they like to pull out the bits and they pull out the intestines and all of the organs and in all of the dungeons they always have a bladder and they always say it's still full and they'll squirt water at you with it which is always quite fun but it is pretty much standard in all of the dungeons it's a lot of the time it's a similar script as well and there's not that many differences And then we went into a unique scene for the London Dungeon, which is Mrs. Lovett's Pie Shop. She goes to talk about how Sweeney Todd is about to arrive and that we're going to meet him. And this scene is quite an enjoyable scene. And there's actually a part where a body falls out of the hatch just behind. And that's always quite a, a scare if you're not expecting it if you've never seen the dungeon before that is always a really good effect and the actor it, when I was in there was really good went through all of the information about Sweeney arriving and then you actually go into the Sweeney Todd scene and this is where the room it's quite a large room and all the lights go off and you get greeted by Sweeney Todd, there's surround sound audio so sometimes you hear his voice right behind your seat and then at the end of this scene the seat will drop back and it's always fantastic effect inside there because that is always a good scare and that is also in all of the other dungeons as well and then we headed into Meter Square which is a scene where where Mary Jane Kelly will introduce you to the Jack the Ripper and his latest murder which is actually someone she knew and you see the body on the floor and this gives you some information on Jack the Ripper and that's his latest victim and it is quite a scary scene because you're stood right outside the White Chapel, which is the location where Jack the Ripper's last murder was 
committed to the main ghost show scene of this dungeon which is all about Jack the Ripper and this is a very scary scene because you all get led into this bar and there's a lot of the moving pots and effects and the shelves will collapse and then the room will go dark and then there'll be strobe lighting and Jack the Ripper will come out with his knife out and he'll come round to all the tables that the guests are sitting on and with his knife and it's always a really well done strobe effect so you don't get to see that much of him so it's even more scary and then we headed into the judge which was quite a funny scene because there was a lot of innuendos in there and one of the most notable ones was where someone get picked out and he said that you must be one of Big Dick's henchmen who would be Little Willie and that was a really funny joke in that scene and that what makes the judge scenes they are all different stories that are always in and then we headed into the final scene which is the drop dead the ride in this dungeon it is a drop tail manufactured by ABC rides and this was a really good drop tail really well themed while you wait to go in there's a lot of rope hanging from the ceiling when you're about to be hung and then you go on and the station area is not overly themed but when you drop down there's a lot of hanging skeletons and ropes hanging down off the ceiling and it's just a really really fun ride and it's quite forceful even though it doesn't look that big but it is quite a forceful ride and of course this dungeon does end in the tavern which is the bar scene and you can buy drinks from here and you can sit down and this comes right after the photo point from the drop dead drop ride and the tavern has a really good effect where there's a mirror and you hear a smashing sound effect and you look back up and the mirror is also broken and that's a really good effect that you just don't see coming and it's a nice point in the tavern to see while you're in there so that wraps up this vlog from the london dungeon i don't think it's my favorite dungeon it doesn't feel that unique but it is quite a fun attraction and is definitely one to do when you visit london in england